the SGS checklist and the millionaire school. Then number three, we have the DMO. The DMO, daily method. If you don't know about that, that would be daily method of operation. Now, I'm going to need us to take down these structures again, the basic structures, okay? Now, this is what's going to give us the framework, okay? How much we go, you know, to succeed in the business will be determined by how much we invest into these things, what we do in them, okay? Or what we do with them. We have the foundation class, which is, that should be the first thing. Anyone that signs into the business, please, don't rush to start getting the person it is very important that people know that to succeed in a business and in a venture, they need training. And they need to take personal responsibility for their own growth process. Don't ever forget that. Make it very clear to anyone, as I'm making clear to you, anyone that does not want to be trained can never succeed. If there is something I want RDI to be known for or to be known with, please, that should be this. If you are not interested in learning, you can grow. And learning is comprised of two major things. Number one, expository to what? Information. Get exposed to information, things that can help you. Then number two, to practice. You don't learn until you practice. So anyone that thinks that he can succeed in this business without training, make them understand clearly, sir, you cannot actually achieve you know, great goals and great things in this business without thorough training and practice. That is why throughout your lifespan, building this business with RODI, sir, we get trained every day. Make it very clear. We get trained what? Every day. Don't forget this saying by John C. Maxwell. When people start for the wrong reasons, surely they will quit for the wrong reason. Don't give them wrong expectation. Don't tell them things like, oh, don't worry. You don't need training. You can succeed. You can, they can succeed. Now, are we going to be flexible? Be human? Yeah. Why talking to people? Sometimes you may not be there. Sometimes you may be very busy, but do everything possible to request for videos, do everything possible to find out what's going on because it's your business. That should be the first thing you say. Immediately someone reaches into the business, it's not what, after congratulating them and being excited, please bring it back home. When you don't say things like this, when they don't get this from the beginning, Trust me, it will be more difficult to get them to follow through with this process. So the foundation class is very important. And you that sponsor the person, it is your responsibility to ensure that they go through the foundation class. Foundation class is something very, very simple. We have different foundation class videos, so uh, WhatsApp groups. Those of you in Alpha Lion team, I don't know whether you people run foundation class, okay? But I'm going to advise all of you to create, especially those of you that have great teams, create your personal foundation classes. If you don't have a foundation class where you operate from, maybe you are an Alpha Lion team, please chat me up. Let me add you to a foundation class. I have about three foundation class, foundation class A, foundation class B, and foundation class C. And different leaders are added to that foundation class so that they will be able to do what? to ensure that everyone that joins the business, they add that person to the foundation class and the person goes through the recorded videos. Extremely important. Don't forget that. It's your responsibility to make sure that the person you register joins the foundation class immediately. Immediately. If it is an offline uh, uh, person, someone that is, not, that is not online, please, Train the person, give the person a recorded video immediately, one-on-one. -on -one. Get them to watch it and let them give you a report on it. Very, very important. So how many of you understood what I said about the foundation class? Can I see wave your hand? 
Can I see you wave your hand? Please let me know that I'm speaking to people. Let me know I'm speaking to people. Okay. All right. So that being done, then let's get down now to the second one. Once someone completes the foundation class, and I want to say this, foundation class should not be more than two days. I will say it again. Foundation class should not be more than two days. Be on them. If you give someone, add someone to the foundation class group, let them, call, don't just add them there and, you know, send those information. Call them on phone and say, please, it is a must that you conclude, that you uh, uh, summarize and review these videos between today and tomorrow. We will still maintain our inductions. Let them know they have only two days. For foundation class is no longer something that uh, you, you, you do when you feel like. And tell them, after two days, if you don't go to your foundation class, we'll put you in a quarantine group. Okay? Where we put on serious-minded persons. And we have special trainings until they get out of there. We now add them to our business group. Let them know that. And after two days, if they don't, remove them from that foundation class. People should know there are consequences to their actions. It's when someone, you know, be giving you excuses. To the, if someone is giving you an excuse to watch videos, come on, simple videos. Haba, it is too much. In fact, the new foundation class videos I'm releasing now, especially the new franchises orientation and this master guide I'm releasing now, though they are very, 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 very short. So anyone that doesn't want to go through the video, doesn't want to go through the video. Yes. So it's extremely important. I'm limiting actually the, the uh, what's it called, the foundation class video to just three, okay? It, to just three. The, uh, we're going to have the, uh, the core value, the core papers, okay? And then uh, the new franchises orientation and the smart starter guide, both will be one video and they will be very, very short. They will all be one video, very short. So let them know they will be quarantined immediately. Then after that, they get inducted into the, uh, the millionaire school. Now this is where we need to pay very close attention to what I want to say. Now the millionaire school, there are activities that be going on there. Now, what are they? Watch this. In the millionaire school, we normally have one hour. Okay, that's 60 minutes. Now, within these 60 minutes, we are going to be doing two things. Number one, the SGS checklist uh, review. All right. Now, when people are being inducted into the millionaire school, by default, make sure that they get to know about the SGS checklist. The, of course, you know the, uh, uh, the, 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 the timetable. All right. I'm going to screenshot all of them as pictures. I'm done editing them permanently. I'm going to screenshot them and send to our WhatsApp group today. I'm done editing them yesterday. I did them all yesterday night. So I will screenshot them and send to our WhatsApp group so everybody will have it. So let them know that this is the SGS checklist. This is your week one program. Okay. And they are to follow through the week one program. Now, what I want, to, I want us to do is this. I sat down and I say, you know what? We need to have a system where everyone in different weeks at different stages gets a review gets what a review all right a review and a discussion very important all right a review and a discussion so i want us to take for example let me open the uh, the sgs checklist the week one Sorry. Okay. All right. So let's open the week one. All right. So take a look at this. Now, this is where. Now, listen to me carefully. This is where every leader. So watch. Your responsibility as a leader, especially those of you that are my rising star mentors. Okay. 
coming. Okay, all right. Now your responsibility doesn't, you know, to follow through with your new partners in your team doesn't end with getting them to go through the foundation class. No, it shouldn't. Okay, so look at what you are to do now. Each team needs to have four different WhatsApp groups for the SGS checklist. Week one WhatsApp group, week two WhatsApp group, week three WhatsApp group, and week four WhatsApp group. Please write them down quickly. It's very important for every single team. If you don't belong to a team, please find out which team you belong to. And then you'll be told. Okay. And then um, I already did that with I already did that grouping with my rising star mentors. Okay. Now every single team will have a leader and a rising star and rising star mentors that super, you know, to supervise them. Um, Sir Churchill, you have your team, okay, and you have your team of your rising star mentors. Uh, Mama Agnes, you have your team, and you have your team of your rising star mentors. Okay, it's very important you get that. I believe you also should have a team, Madam Abu Benson, Madam Scholar. You are in my team, so I'm going to create even another team again that you know. Um, so my week one, week two, week three, week four, and I'm going to add the people I'm to supervise directly there. Those of you, I told all of us here that you are going to be um, revalidating yourself. So I'm going to be adding all of you to my week one, personally, you yourself, okay? To my week one, the rising star mentors, the week one, the week two, the week three, week four. Obviously, going to be in the week one. But you yourself as an individual, you are previously one of the people that have raised as rising star mentors. While I'm trying to revalidate you, please, you will need to create your own, like Mama Agnes, I will need to create, and you, Mama Oyeniron, together with Mama Oyeniron, both of you are the leaders of the progressive um, team. Create your week one. Obviously, everybody is in week one, so you don't even need to create week two, but you can just create as a basic framework. So week one, you add everybody there. Okay? Then you have your week two. These are WhatsApp groups. I hope you are taking notes. These are WhatsApp groups. So you're going to have your week three WhatsApp group. You're going to have your week four WhatsApp group. Now, people graduate from week one to week two. When they move from week one to week two, remove them from week one, add them to week two. When they move from week two to week three, remove them from week two, add them to week three. When they move from week three to week four, remove them from week three, add them to week four. I hope that's clear, okay? So immediately after the foundation class, you are to add them to the week one program. What are they doing in that program? In that week one WhatsApp group, you are to publish this. This is the new activity for week one. The same way they went through the foundation class of, which is just two days. And like I said, I'm reducing the videos to be very short. In fact, the whole video they'll be watching will not be up to one hour. But the core, that, would, that is exactly what we're doing. Both the core value, the core papers, new franchises orientation, and the smart starter guide. They won't be more than one hour, more than 60 minutes. So it's practically impossible to have someone serious that will not be able to watch those videos within 48 hours. So immediately after that, add them to what? To your week one program. So what is the new timetable for week one? Make 15 what? Name list, contact list. Okay? Now watch this. This is where you start playing your role. You don't just tell them make a 15 name contact list. You're going to teach them what to do. Then you're going to instruct them to study the introduction to chapters one to chapter one to five of my first year in network marketing. <laughs> and then at time, attend your, uh, you know, obviously we're going to remove this. Okay. Now the reason why I added this here. Okay. I'm going to tell us why. I will tell us why. When I come back to the millionaire school timing. Okay. So just give them this timetable. Then once they are done, add them to week two. In the week two, show them the new timetable for week two. So your responsibility is to ensure that anyone that you add to week one goes through this. That's your responsibility. It's your responsibility. Make sure they go through this. It's very important. Now, we're going to discuss them in detail. But before then, let's finish up with the structure of the uh, one hour, 60 minutes, that's the 60 minutes millionaire school time. So what we're going to be doing right now in the millionaire school timing is this, okay? Every single day, I'm going to have, because this is the general millionaire school, all right? 
we, uh, that's because we said the millionaire school is where you meet the top leaders. Are we together? All right, now millionaire school is different from your own personal meetings. Now, the first 30 minutes of the millionaire school, I'm going to use it for personal development and then general training for the whole team. The first 30 minutes. Okay, what I'm going to do there is what? The, I'm going to have a training, the you know, personal development training, okay, very short video discussion. And then that's what I'm going to give general instructions and general training to the whole team. Very important. I'm always going to give training that will affect everybody. Then the second 30 minutes. The second 30 minutes, I will dedicate it myself. So talking about the SGS checklist. But what I'm going to be doing at that time is to um, um, pick each day, I will pick a particular week to discuss. Each day, I pick a particular week. So it's just going to be like a review section for me. Let me give you an example. On a Monday, the first 30 minutes, okay? The first 30, I'm thinking, really making, thinking of really making it 40 minutes and leave 20 minutes for the discussion, okay? For the SGS checklist, all right? Now, like, let's put it 40 minutes. The first 40 minutes will be my millionaire school, the normal millionaire school we have. And the other 20 minutes, I'm going to use it to have a discussion on the week one program. On Tuesday, on Tuesday, I'm going to still have the millionaire school and then I'm going to have a discussion for what? For the week two program. Okay? Then on Wednesday, and it's compulsory for everyone. All right? Then on Wednesday, I'm going to have a discussion for people, uh, uh, for the what? For the week three program. All those book reviews and everything, that's we're going to have those book reviews and everything, okay? Then on Thursday, I'm going to have my normal millionaire school 40 minutes and then review on week four program. How many of you understood what I just said? Can I see you wave your hand? How many of you understood what I said? Let me see wave your hand. Now, why, the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't want to leave out the responsibility of having partners growing through the week one, week two, week three, week four program only to the hands of the Rising Star Mentors. I still want to be involved in making sure that people are growing rightly in those week one, week two, week three, and week four program. So those of them that are on week one program, we know on Monday, I'm having a review with them. What I mean review, it just, I know what to do. It's just a general talk. Let me give you an example of what I meant by that. On the week one program, what I'm going to be doing is what? I'm not going to be talking about initial franchise orientation. I'm not talking about a quick starter guide, okay? What I'm going to be talking about is what? Majorly is the information in my uh, introduction to chapter one to five of my first year in network marketing, okay? I'm going to be talking more about that there. Then I'm going to be talking more on the third party what? Recommendation, which has to do with what? how they will utilize the 15 name contact list, how it should be utilized for the program, okay? All right, so I hope that is very clear. So I know what to say there. I'm not gonna be like, get you know, start doing the work of the leader. You that is the leader, you are the one that is supposed to, are you hearing me? You know, have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with everybody that joins your team to make sure that they get the best out of it. But as the top leader, I will ensure I will still play my role to ensure that it's being followed through properly. So second day, which is Tuesday, will be for the week two. So I'm going to be having the millionaire school section, and then I now have the SGS what checklist section. Now, this is the main thing. This is another thing again. I want us to do what to talk about. So we've done with the millionaire school, and the next one is what the DMOs. Daily method of operation. How many of you were in the training where we talked about the DMO? Okay. How many of you were there? How many of you were there when we discussed about the DMO, daily method of operation? How many of you were there? Let me see, wave your hand. Okay. Now, what we're going to do here is this we are not going to be deploying. Listen carefully. One, 
because we are all starting afresh, we are all going to go through the week one, week two, and week three together. Like now, by today, now I'm creating all my WhatsApp groups and everybody in my own group. Once I add you there, you are in my week one. You are to go through with all the instructions and then I'll graduate into week two. All right? Good. And so also going to do for your downliners. All right. So look at it now. The daily method of operation kicks in. That is something you use personally. Nobody reviews you on daily method of operation. Nobody reviews you on it. It's set of activities you are to use every single day. But you start using your daily method of operation immediately after graduating from your SGS checklist, SGS what? A, a, a success growth checklist system. Once you graduate out of it, you start deploying the DMO. Now, why I say that is because if you combine the DMO, daily method of operation with the week one, week two, week three, and week four program, there is going to be a clash. The essence, the real essence of the SGS checklist is to train you, is to equip you, get you into averagely start performing well, you know, when it comes to the seven core disciplines. Now, the DMO is, is a totality, is the summary. You know, set, you know, you know, it goes you set on each of those core disciplines. Itemize, how many times, you know, time and sections you know, assigned to them that you are to do every day. So combining it, let me give you an example. Um, in your DMO, you have a specific number of minutes for prospecting every day, specific number of minutes for inviting every day, specific number of minutes for follow up every day. It's a one hour program, specific number of minutes for uh, calling your leaders every day or connecting with your leaders every day. If you combine that with week one, someone in week one has not been taught on how to do follow up. So there is a clash. Someone on week one has not been taught on how to make phone calls and make invitations. So there's going to be a clash. So the daily method of operation kicks in immediately after graduating from your SGS four weeks program. You start deploying. So once you finish with the SGS checklist program, I add you to my personal WhatsApp groups. Now, this is where I'll be reviewing you on your SGS checklist. So every single day, then you can give me a report on your SGS checklist. We're going to have what? All the, all the, all the, this, all the programs itemized. You're prospecting. You write it down. Inviting. Done. You'll be giving me daily reports. If you didn't do anyone, you write none. And I'll be demanding it from us. Anyone you do, just write none. By the time you yourself write zero, 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 zero for about three to four to five consecutive days, then of course you should know the outcome of your business doing that majorly throughout a month. No, you don't need to say, ah, my business is not growing. So all these things, all this, uh, all this, uh, uh, you know, an attitude of uh, Mr. Nonso, I'm doing my best. I want to eliminate it. Let your scorecard show whether you are doing your best. Your scorecard should show it. Because some of us assume that we are really building our business very well. Some of us assume that we are really doing our best. No, we can't assume. Business is not built based on assumption. Mm -mm. Business is a game of numbers, statistics, statistics. How many minutes did you prospect today? How many persons did you prospect to? Simple, don't, don't beat around the bush. How many persons did you engage to watch the recorded video? or to attend a live Zoom meeting? How many? How many minutes did you engage in getting people to attend the live Zoom meeting? How many minutes did you engage in chatting people up and getting them to, how many minutes? How many of them? It's a game of numbers. Not the day you wake up in the morning and then you run around and run around. There is something that John C. Maxwell said that really, really changed my life at a very young age. He said, all successful people do occasionally what the successful do regularly is about taking those baby steps consistently. 10 minutes of prospecting, chatting people up, making those phone calls every day, 10 minutes, every day for six days gives you one hour of quality prospecting. It is better 
than having one hour of prospecting in a day. I will say it again. 10, 10 minutes of prospecting every, from Monday to Saturday, it's better than having 60 minutes, which is still the same number of minutes of prospecting in one day. It's about the consistency. When you are taking those baby steps consistently, it keeps you in remembrance that you can't do without prospecting. When you know you have 10 minutes to do follow-up or 10 minutes to do follow-up, and you have about 20 people to call, you won't waste your time for the day. The people you followed up, maybe you have a long list. You can't follow up people every day. Maybe from your maybe you have a list of 100 persons. You can't call up them every day. You can say, I'm calling based on priority. Okay, this I'm calling about 10. You choose the 10 you are calling for today. Or you choose the five you are calling for today. Tomorrow you choose another five you are calling. When is it? You put you in a place where you know that I can't do without following up on people every day. Making new connections on Facebook, offline, online. How many new persons did you connect to, to build a relationship with, to prospect to tomorrow? How many? So that is exactly what the daily method of operation will now do for us. So once we graduate out of the SGS checklist, the next thing is what? We get into the DMO, daily method of operation. And it's a daily report. It's a daily report card. Daily report card. You are to report to me if I'm mentoring you, if you're in my group. Those of you that are that will graduate, I will keep you there in the group. Now, those of you that are leaders, obviously, those of you that will be in my group, you'll be reporting to me directly. And then, obviously, you're going to have your own group. Like Satoshi, he'll be in my group, but you're going to have your own group where you're going to be what? Getting reports from people. Mama Agnes, from your neuron, you're going to be in my group, but you're going to be getting reports from what? From other persons. All right? I hope you get that clearly. All right? So now by the time I raise you, you become a leader and you start having have one or two rising star mentors under you, you form your own WhatsApp group where you'll be getting reports of the people that are already under your group. Okay? So by the time Mommy Muraya becomes a rising star, she's a rising star mentor, by the time she produces maybe two or three other rising star mentors, she should break out not really breaking out, she should have her own WhatsApp group where she's getting reports from her team Why she is still giving reports in progressive uh, uh, group, progressive team group, where Mama Agnes is the main leader. You get that now? So, Sachochi, okay, I don't, what's the name of your team, Sachochi? I've forgotten. What's the name of your team? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. What's the name of your team again? Impactful, impactful. Yeah, the impactful team. So I know Mr. Anthony is in your team, right? Yes. And he's a rising star mentor, right? Yes. Good. So by the time you are, he has produced two, three rising star mentors under him, what he means is he needs to now have his own WhatsApp group where he's getting reports. Where he's being where he's getting reports, the week one, week two, week three group, okay? And week four group, but he will still be reporting to you. Okay, in the DMO, in, the, in, the, in your own team. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, I do. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. All right? So those of you that I'm going to be adding to my group, just know that we are all starting. And we are all starting today with the week one program. Now, before the meeting, we just have one more minute to go. Now, because of this, if you, by the time you study the SGS checklist um, timetable, the week one, week two, week three program timetable, you will find out that there is a place talk about big announcements. What is that big announcement? That big announcement of third party recommendation has to do with a particular day where we're going to be having what business seminar. So I'm going to be getting back again on having a business seminar. That's our presentations online. That is the big event. That's the big event. Everybody, everybody in every team, all the invitations has to be done and be made for that day every invitation okay all right now um, we're going to be choosing either a weekday or a weekend okay but preferably i'm going to have it on a weekday to enable me to be more effective because of my level of schedule um during the weekend okay to make it very consistent i will make i would love to make it during the weekday so all invitations are done they are called third party invitations all right everything is done on that is done to have people invited for that day 
So every week, people are doing invitations for that day. Every week, all right? So by the time we get into discussing about the program, the week one, week two, week three, week four, then we'll understand how to make those third party recommendations because it's very important, okay? That's what we'll start by tomorrow. So our training officially, when it comes to the, uh, 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 with the new system starts officially tomorrow, okay? All right. So how many of you think it is it is too late to start week one tomorrow being Wednesday? How many of you think this too it is too it is too uh too late to start? Let me just I just want to you know uh, uh, you know you, you know get into our mind. Let me just know what we have in our mind. Okay. Please feel free. I'm doing this for a reason. Okay. That this way I'm closing. How many of you think that starting week one tomorrow? Uh, Mr. Nosso, why don't you keep it in next week Monday now? Uh, let just <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, huh? as until next week Monday, we will start it tomorrow. Okay, Mother Rehab just said she was prepared. We'll start tomorrow. Okay, I want to know what do you think, uh, Mama Agnes? What do you think? Hello, Mama. I hope you are available. What do you think? I just want to get in town. I just wanted to know. You know, feel free. Feel free. Good morning, sir. Yes, Mama. Good morning. Uh, it's a good project, and uh, the only thing I can just say is that God will help us to, will help us to make it come true. You know, it's uh, my I say it's a good project, but I hope I pray that God will help us to make it real, you make know, it come true. Amen. <laughs> because um, presently I have some challenges. That may not allow me to, to to do it properly as we like, but I will try my best. That's the most important thing. Let me tell you something here, Mama. Eh? It's going to be easy. Trust me. Now, Amen. I believe, I believe maybe when now we are starting it newly, and um, there are going to be some, you know, challenges and then rescheduling and there's a whole lot of work on my side to do materials and everything to do okay that's going to help us to be more effective but let us know that you can never have a perfect system from the beginning but i believe that what we have right now is something that anyone that's serious you know with this business you know we're giving them we're giving everyone a template to follow to become successful the basic structure to become successful. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Because when I checked the week one, week two, week three, week four program, I said it's impossible for someone to really generate up to 300 contacts, have them properly invited using the scripts I've been listening to Ross. You know, it's impossible to invite 300 persons and not be able to have two people joining the business. It is not possible. Through third party recommendation, it's just not possible. No, it can't just be. If it ever happens, there is always somewhere there was a lapse. A lap, a, 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 there was carelessness or lapses. You know, it must be. Contacts not being quality contacts, phone calls not done properly, messages not sent properly. It must be. It just has to be. It just has to be. There is no way someone can go through that week one, week two, week three, week four program without being fully abreast of what the business is. It just can't be. It just can't be. So it's just, just a framework for anyone that wants to excel. Let us square up our shoulders and let us get ready for an exciting moment. Just one more person, please. Okay, someone said business presentation days on Sundays are suggestion. So I'm suggesting on Sunday. Sunday wouldn't be, I don't think, would be a very wonderful time for me. Okay, looking at how busy I am. Okay, but I, I'm looking into weekends. I'm sincerely, I'm really, really looking into weekends uh, for it. Um, being weekends is a general time, uh, but I know how hectic that can be for me. Mommy Murayo is shaking her head. <laughs> Mommy Murayo is shaking her head. Yes, yeah, so weekend won't be eh? okay for me. Who can we can won't be okay for me for business? Like, you know what business that, that, that is the our night presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Is it for you or your invitees? For me, for me, personally, for me. Uh -huh. We are looking at for invitees, mm. not for you. <laughs> likewise, uh, likewise, it's going to be. You know what? To make it easy for me, before I close, I'm about to close now. Let me just take a census quickly. Okay, how many of you would prefer weekends and weekday? If you are for weekend, type weekend on the chat. If you are for weekday, write weekday in the chat quickly. Just help me. Weekday. 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 Sunday and Saturday. And Saturday will be on the road, majorly, sometimes. Oh. So please, can I, can I have?